Welcome everyone to the first episode of this series, where I'm making a game from scratch. Hopefully the game will be public by the end of the series, so that you can play and enjoy the game. My goal is to make a fighting-like game where the combat is inspired by one of my favorite games God Hand, where you have to act quick to gain big, and the rest of the game I'll figure out through the episodes and through your suggestions in my Discord server. Join it in the link down below. Also, just to inform you guys, I forgot to record the beginnings of me making the game, but the only things that I made was a simple loading screen and a way to dodge and I began making an attack system. Now on to the video. Before continuing on with the attack system, I added some friends so that I can test my system out. Next I made a hitbox so the attacks can actually work. Let's test out our attacks. After fixing that problem and making the hitbox actually spawn in front of the player, the attack system now works. Then I changed the look of the base plate so that it doesn't look as boring as the default base plate. And then I started on the game GUIs. For the health bar I wanted to be fancy and make it 3D, but when I was creating it I saw how difficult it was to make it. So to make my job easier I scratched the idea of making a 3D health bar and stick to the classical 2D health bar, and, of course, I threw the 3D health bar into the abyss. And instead of that, I made, in my opinion, a decent looking health bar, alongside with a dodge meter and a XP meter for future use. After making the health, dodge, and XP bar, I went straight to making the damage indicators for the game, so that when you guys play and fight each other, you can see how much damage you've dealt to your opponent. And here is the finished product. Big number, go BR. I also turned my friends into gold. Okay, I'm going to street, bro. Damn. Damn. After all of that, I needed a way to test the attack system on myself, so I made a man's best friend. Epic Brick. And after Epic Brick successfully killed me multiple times, I can safely say that the attack system works. So, my plan for the dodge system is to make two evasives. The first being a normal dodge, where you duck down and successfully dodge a high attack, which can only be used when you're not stunned. It's basically the equivalent of blocking attacks. The second is a dash where you can escape out of any attack, but only if you have enough meter on your dodge bar. And they will also grant you iframes for a short amount of time. And I forgot to say that the only way to gain dodge meter is to take damage or either dodge incoming attacks. Now, to dash, you need to have at least 50 on your dodge meter, but I will make it require less through skill trees and their respective skill nodes. If you don't want to miss out on me making a skill tree, Make sure to subscribe and hit that bell so you get notified when I upload videos in the future. Before continuing on with the dashes, I decided to remake these blocks a bit and make them look nicer for no reason. And since this is a fighting game I made a cooldown GUI so that you guys can see when you can use your move again. The cooldowns are a bit scuffed as you can see, but I'll make that better sometime later in the future. Now back to the dashes. Since the dashes actually have to make you dash, I spent my time on making that work. It wasn't hard, but it was a bit difficult to make it just right. 
And this is what I've come up with. And lastly, I have to make it work even when you're attacked. Luckily, that was pretty easy. Now that I finished these two systems, I started on the menu where you can check your skill trees, inventory, and adjust settings for the game. Since I don't have the skill to make a really nice looking menu, I made something simple, but even this took me a really long time to make. If you want to help me out you can leave a like down below to make my developer journey easier. My idea for the menu is to make a main menu that has sub-menus inside of it, those being character, inventory and settings, and maybe more in the future. The character menu will display what abilities you have equipped and maybe some other details about your character, like HP, damage reduction etc. It's also where you access your skill trees to spend your points on. The inventory menu will, as the name suggests, allow you to store your abilities and items. There will be only a few slots of storage but there will be ways to increase that number, even without Robux. And the last menu, the settings, will allow you to change settings for the game. Hopefully it will have many changeable things for you guys. Now enjoy the building montage. And there we go. It's not much, but it's honest work. And that would be it for today's devlog. If you haven't already commented, liked and subscribed, then what are you waiting for? Also join the Discord if you haven't already so that you can receive early and more detailed devlogs about the game. See you guys in the next video.